Hey, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about everybody's favorite PC game of all time in Fallout 76 coming to Steam in April with a big expansion. Obviously, that was a little bit of sarcasm, but nonetheless, Fallout 76 has been undergoing a lot of updates, and now it's going to undergo a major one, especially on PC, as it's arriving to Steam. And speaking of games that'll be arriving to Steam, one that might go under your radar a little bit is the Wonderful 101. A remastered version was put on Kickstarter yesterday, and it got funded really, really quickly, and it will be happening. This is a Platinum Games title. Platinum Games is awesome. Wonderful 101 was really good on the Wii U, and now it's coming to PC later this year by the looks of it. All right, first up, I do want to talk Fallout 76 coming to Steam. Obviously, I was being a little bit sarcastic, saying it's everybody's favorite game. No, the majority of people absolutely detested this game when it came out back in November of 2018, was it? 2017? It's been a while since Fallout 76 was released, but now it is coming to Steam. Obviously, it was exclusive to the Bethesda store for a while. Bethesda, by the looks of it, for a little bit, it looked like they were completely moving away from Steam and they were going to release games. From, but that obviously changed. Uh, the free expansion that will bring human NPCs to Fallout 76 also has a new launch date. Fallout 76 Wastelanders will be coming to PC on April 7th. And with the Wastelanders launch, Fallout 76 will finally be coming to Steam as well on the very same day. A new trailer was also uploaded, so you can check that out. This was something that a lot of people wanted, so this is a pretty major update for Fallout 76 along with the human NPCs coming to the world the main focus uh, the main factions being the raiders living at the crash space station and settlers inhabiting a fort called foundation there will be a new reputation system in Fallout 76 challenging you to raise your standing among the factions by helping them out with tasks and quests the more you gain their trust the more items and faction based plans you'll be able to purchase from vendors companions will be available too though we haven't heard much about that on uh, that side uh, as far we, as we know, they'll mostly hang around at your base camp, but we'll see if they do get fleshed out a little bit more. The trailer gives you a little bit of an idea of what's coming, so you can check that out for yourself. Fallout 76, obviously a game that not everybody is too big of a fan on. I remember when this game came out again back in 2018. It was a goddamn train wreck, and I'm not going to say that the game is good now. However, I will give Bethesda a shred, just a tiny bit of credit for staying committed to the game. Obviously, there was some criticism and some controversy along the way with them trying to introduce that Fallout subscription model. That was ridiculous, but hey, Fallout 76 is now coming to Steam. Is it going to sell really well? I don't know about that. It ultimately depends on uh, what the price point is, if that's adjusted at all or anything like that. But if the game is still, you know, $39.99 or something like that, I do think that's going to be a little bit of a hard sell. But I think if Fallout 76 was put onto Steam at $19.99, I do think people would check it out. And here's this. Here might it might be something that you guys consider a bold prediction, but just understanding how PC gamers are and understanding how these things work, I bet you that Fallout 76, when it is released on Steam, it will end up being the top seller for a little bit. I think people are going to want to check it out. I think people are going to want to give it a chance, see how it is on Steam. They're going to parlay it with a brand new expansion, and I do think this is a chance for Fallout 76 to get a little bit of a second win. Now, is it going to get that second win? I don't know. I don't know what the longevity is going to be for people trying out this game again, especially because after they did so much damage the first time, but if they do price it accordingly, I just do see it being a top seller. Is it going be a game that I personally am I'm going to be super invested into? No, but hey, at the very least, it's nice that a uh, Bethesda is bringing all of their games to Steam once again. I really did not like the idea of their games being a Bethesda store exclusive. That was not a good indication of things to come, especially if games like Elder Scrolls 6, uh, that space game they're working on that the name escapes me right now. If those games were going to be Bethesda store exclusive, that would have been a little bit of a bummer, but now everything's coming together. And Fallout 76 will be out on Steam come April 7th. Alright, so there you have that. Honestly, more exciting for me is the wonderful 101 remaster. Platinum Games' classic Unite action game, self-published and heading to multiple platforms. They put out a Kickstarter yesterday, and they wanted a total of $50,000. That was to bring the game to Nintendo Switch, and then ultimately, if they hit $250,000, they would get a Steam version. $500,000 would bring a PlayStation 4 version. $1 million would get a Time Attack mode. $1.5 million, Luca's first mission, and then $1.75 for a remix soundtrack. 
track. I believe the additional goals weren't even there. They just highlighted the PlayStation 4 version because I don't think Platinum Games were at all expecting to raise $1.226 million within the first 24 to 26 hours. That's how much they have raised as of the recording of this video. That is absolute insanity. Wonderful 101 was a game that was released exclusively on the Nintendo Wii U. Now, it was a Platinum Games title, so obviously, people that played the game probably really, really enjoyed it, and I'm sure it was a really good game. I remember playing it a little bit, but it didn't really resonate with me at that level. I could understand it was, you know, a compelling game, a competent enough game, but definitely didn't hit home with me as much as some other people, but hey, kudos to them, and kudos to Platinum Games for realizing that a game like this, there was this groundswell of fandom for it, a fandom that I didn't even notice existed. And now not only have they raised all this money to, you know, fully develop this game, but they're also going to be able to make a lot of money selling copies of the game because I feel like the Wonderful 101 is now just so much more in the news cycle that people are talking about it just on the basis that this Kickstarter was so successful. So this is one area where Kickstarter, I just feel like, did so much good for this. Obviously, it did good in the sense that now Wonderful 101 Remastered is happening, but also in the sense that this just kind of spread like wildfire and it was really the gaming topic of yesterday. Everybody was talking about it and now you're gonna see a game that was a Wii U exclusive sold you know as good as a Wii U exclusive is gonna sell I mean not very good considering it was a Wii U exclusive and Wii U was not a very popular console but you get the idea but now the floodgates are really going to be open where it's going to be on the Nintendo Switch. I think a lot of people are going to buy it there. I think a lot of people are going to buy it on PC. And I think it's going to sell pretty well on PlayStation 4. And the game is going to be even better again. We already cracked 1 million. So the time attack mode is confirmed. I think 1.5 million is guaranteed with Luca's first mission. And 1.75 million is probably going to happen as well. I do very much see us hitting that goal as well. And then we'll get a remix soundtrack. So it's really going to be a high quality remastered version of a game based on the fun that did happen uh, on, in the sense that we see a lot of remastered games that, you know, it's fine if you want to remaster a game and it's not like a huge... Uh, update or they're not adding a ton of new con uh, content. I don't think that's the end of the world. You're just offering us the game. I think that's at the end of the day what we're expecting. But in this case, based on the funding, there is going to be a sizable amount of content added as well. And I think that's going to be incredibly exciting. A game that I'll definitely check out. I haven't backed it yet. Maybe I'll end up backing it just to get a copy of the game. I believe it's $36 to get a digital copy of the game and then $41 if you do want a physical copy of the game. Uh, I imagine that would be a PlayStation 4 and Switch exclusive since I don't think they're going to make physical releases of the Steam version, but nonetheless, there you have it with that, and that's going to conclude this video. Again, Fallout 76 will be headed to Steam on April 7th, and Wonderful 101 Remastered will be headed to Steam, hopefully sometime later this year. The great to see that game raise as much money as it did when I first heard about it, and I was just watching the live clock go up in terms of, uh, you know, the funding. I was just like, holy crap, they're going to raise a crap load of money, and good for them. Platinum Games, a highly ta uh, talented studio, so it really couldn't have happened to some, anybody better in the sense of Platinum Games being that top tier studio. So that's going to wrap up this video. If you guys have a request for a future video, you can leave that in the comment section down below and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate it if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.